Welcome to another video. Let's take this integral. It's, this is a nested radical of x. So it is the square root of x times 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 the square root of x, and it goes on forever. And we're supposed to take the integral of this? You don't even know how to express this. No, we know how to express it. Let me show you. The main problem with this problem is you knowing how to express this because taking the integral is the easiest thing you can ever do in calculus. I promise you. But we don't know how to express this. So this is an infinite chain of multiplication of radicals and they are nested. That is one is under the other. So you can't say it is square root of x times the square root of x times the square root of x. That would be easy and it is infinite. It goes on forever. So let's try to simplify the integrand first. Find another way to do it. Now there are two ways to do this. There is the professional way and there is the amateur way. I'm going to do it the amateur way in this video. In another video I'm going to show you the professional way of getting the answer that I'm about to get. Just to cut the story uh, short. Another way to write this nested integral is just replace it with x. So actually you're taking the integral of x dx and that's going to be one half of x squared. If you're looking for the answer, that's the answer. How do I know this? You can replace this with x. Now watch what I'm about to do. I know that this expression, consider the square root, watch this, of x times the square root, another one under, of x times another one under, of x times another one under, of x times, you know, we just keep on going. It doesn't matter how many you write because at the end of the day, you never stop. It keeps on going. Well, why don't we say, let, let y be equal to this integrand that we have. Remember, it does not matter how many of these x's you write. This goes to infinity. It doesn't matter. So it's like you're writing 1.111111 and then you put dot, dot, dot. So it doesn't matter whether you write 1 more 1. It doesn't change the value of this number that it goes to infinity, right? So the same thing, it doesn't matter. So even if I start from here, It is as if I'm just beginning because this goes to infinity just as if I started from here. So even if I start from here, it is from here again to infinity. So I can actually write this as y is equal to the square root of x. Instead of writing all of this, I just multiply it by y. Why? Because y is this. Do you see that? So this is what I have. I have an equation. If I want to get rid of this square root sign, I can square both sides. I can say y squared will be equal to xy. Nice. And now I can solve this equation. I can say y squared equals xy so that y squared minus xy is equal to zero. If I factor out y, I get y minus x equals 0. So I have two possible answers. y is equal to 0 or y minus x equals 0. So I have y equals 0 or y is equal to x. Now like I said, this is the amateur way. I've spent all day trying to find a fault in this method. I can't find any fault. So leave a comment in the comment section if you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing. Although I'm gonna make another video, so the next video is gonna be the 
professional way of proving this, that this is equal to x. Okay, so I just got that y equals x. Remember what our y was. y was the original problem, this integrand. So we can replace this with x. Oh, but we have the option of 0. Now look at the case of 0. y can only be 0 if x is 0. Go back. The square root of a function can never be 0 unless that function itself is 0. So the only way this can be 0 is if everything, one of, if x is 0, then this would be 0, this would be 0. That's the only case. So this justifies my amateur method that y is equal to x. And y equals x, y equals 0 only if x equals 0. So it justifies that y is equal to x because the only time y will be 0 is if x is equal to 0. Okay, I'm done. This is what I need. So I can go back here and take my integral. Let's go. So we can say that the integral of the nested square root product of this, ah, tap, 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 dx, is equal to the integral. I'm going to replace this with x. <laughs> What's my answer? If I integrate x, what do I get? I get x squared divided by 2 plus c. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Next video, I'm going to show you another way of proving that this is equal to x before we take the integral. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.